So this Crystal Cove mattress from Brentwood Home is one of the most unique beds we've ever tried over here at the Slumberyard because it has two sides, but they're completely different feels. So I'll get all into that in this review. Hey there, I'm Wes with the Slumberyard and over here we review all things online mattresses like beds from Brentwood Home and it's been a while, so we're taking a look at this one. And in this video, we're gonna to touch on everything that you need to know about this bed, starting with its policies. We'll get into its construction, firmness, feel. You know, I mentioned that fun feel. We'll get into that, of course. At the end, we'll talk about price. And at the very end, I'll have a final verdict for you and answer some of the questions that you still might have. But if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the Slumberyard for so much more. But let's get right into this review. At the Slumberyard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. All right, so before I get into everything that you need to know about the Crystal Cove mattress, I should say that Brentwood Home did send us this bed for free to review and tell you guys about it. But if you order it online, it's gonna be backed by the following policies, starting with free shipping. So this is a bed in a box mattress that'll ship to your house in, surprise, a box. All you gotta do is drag it inside and rip off all that packaging and the bed will expand in front of your eyes. Now, once this mattress is in your possession, you get a full year sleep trial, which is pretty above and beyond the normal 100 nights we see. So basically test this thing out in the comfort of your own home for a full year. Now, if within that trial period, this bed isn't right for you, you can get free returns, but hopefully you do like it. And if so, it's backed by a 25 year warranty. And if you need any more information about those policies, we'll link them down below in the description description, but let's just jump right into this bed and look inside of it and see what it's made up of. So if you have the plush side up, you'll see memory foam on top, then a transition layer, then the middle, the main support layer for the mattress is pocketed coils. Then you get to the latex foam side, which has a comfort foam layer of latex foam. So this whole mattress is flippable and you can sleep on either side and you're basically getting a latex foam feel on one side, which will be the firmer side, and a plushy, more soft memory foam feel on the other, which is their plush side. So that memory foam feel isn't gonna be dense and viscous. Instead, it's gonna be really plush and responsive and more new age. Now, when you flip the bed over, you'll get that latex foam feel and latex foam, which is made from the sap of a rubber tree, is pretty much the opposite of a memory foam. So instead of sinking into this side, you'll sleep more on top of the bed. Latex foam is also really responsive and bouncy. So when you do change between different sleeping positions, the bed will respond with you almost instantly. And before at the slumber yard, we've seen beds that have, you know, two different firmnesses in the same bed, but we never have really seen one with two different feels. So that's one major thing that this bed has going for it. Now, in terms of firmness, these beds will be in the similar ballpark, but slightly different. So if you have the plush side facing up, it'll have more of a medium soft to a medium feel on our firmness scale. So it should work for all sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. But since it is slightly on the softer end of the spectrum, it might be the better option for strict side and combination sleepers. Now, if you flip this bed over to that latex foam side, it's gonna have a firmness between a medium and a medium firm. So also should work for all sleeper types, but might be better for strict back or stomach sleepers. Now I should mention that firmness can be subjective based on how much you weigh. So if you're much more petite, you might find beds to be a little bit firmer. And if you're a little bit bigger and have more mass, beds might feel a little bit softer. But all of these firmness ratings are based on our findings for the average person around the 150 to 180 pound range. Also, since this bed does use pocketed coils in the center for its main support layer, we can pretty much recommend it for all body types. You know, whether you're much petite or much heavier, pocketed coils are just supposed to provide more long-term support and durability, and they can add a little bit of bounce to a mattress as well if that's something that you're into. Now, I hope I made it clear that this bed has two different feels and pretty much two different firmnesses, but if neither one of them are exactly right for you, you can look at other beds from Brentwood Home. They have their Oceano mattress. You know, Theron on our team sleeps on that and he really loves that. Pretty much all of the beds from Brentwood Home are quality and we could definitely recommend. So if you wanna learn more about any of those, check down below in the description box. But let's get back into the Crystal Cove and touch on some X factors and some things that couples might wanna consider if you happen to be sharing the mattress. Now, edge support is one of those things that couples might want to learn about, and that has to do with how sturdy the edge of the mattress is if you like to sleep close to this. And this bed won't do the absolute best in this department since it does, you know, have that flippable design. Sometimes we notice that flippable beds don't have the best edge support, but again, it's not going to be something that we think anyone should worry about. And if you want a little bit better edge support, maybe flip it over to that latex foam side. 
Now with motion isolation, how well the bed transfers or deadens cross mattress movement. In terms of the plush side, the memory foam side, we think it'll do pretty well. And for the latex foam side, it might not do as well, but still pretty much nothing you're gonna have to worry about. Now in terms of temperature regulation, this bed will pretty much sleep temperature neutral. You know, it's not gonna actively cool you down or heat you up, pretty much be right in that neutral zone. And I should also mention that the Crystal Cove has a ton of certifications, pretty much too many to mention in this one video, but I'll mention the major standout one, which is that it's 100% vegan. So that might move the needle for any vegan people out there who wanna have vegan products as well. We'll have some links for you down below in that description box if you wanna learn about all of those certifications. You know, there are a ton, so check down below for that. But now let's get into price. How much are you gonna be paying for this mattress? And you might be thinking, you know, for a bed that has so many different things going in one bed, it might be pretty expensive, but it's actually pretty affordable. So I do wanna preface this section by saying, you know, pricing does change constantly, but as of when I'm recording this video, you should be able to pick up a queen size Crystal Cove mattress for around the $1,600 mark MSRP. So under $2,000 for a flippable hybrid mattress with two different feels is pretty darn hard to beat. But if we do happen to have a discount code, we will link it down below in the description box because we always like to help you save the most amount of money possible. And if you do decide to use that coupon code, it helps us out over here at the Slumberyard and we really appreciate that. But that is basically the short story when talking about the Crystal Cove mattress, you know, I basically rediscovered this bed since we have so many beds in here and this one kind of slips under the radar, but it might make some of our best lists just because of that unique feel. So at this point in the video, let's just give you our Slumberyard team's final verdict and answer some of the questions that you still might have, like who is this bed best for? Well, I would check out the Crystal Cove mattress if you're looking for a hybrid bed and you're maybe not sure about which firmness you want and you want the choice between a latex foam feel and more of an airy memory foam feel, and you like to have the choice in firmness as well, that memory foam feel being around a medium soft to a medium and that latex foam feel being a little bit firmer. So it also can work for all sleeper types and has some really consumer friendly policies. But hey, that's just what we think over here at the Slumber Yard. What do you think of this bed? Is it too good to be true or would you like to try it? Write us down below. We would love to hear from you. And if you need any more information about any other beds in the whole online space, you can definitely subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. But that's gonna do it for me. I'm Wes, wishing you all a good night's sleep.